Welcome back, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this lesson on applying the distributive property. But before we even talk about that, let's talk about sushi. Oh my god, that looks good. So let's consider a chef who is preparing three identical platters of sushi. Each platter will have three different sushi rolls and a dollop of wasabi. To complete each platter, the chef must distribute each type of sushi roll and the wasabi evenly to each plate. And now they're ready to be served. And I kind of want one. So now as we continue our journey of exploring the distributive property, let's ask the question, what about numbers? How does it apply? So if we add the example three multiplied by the sum of eight and two in parentheses here. Now we know that eight plus two is equal to 10. And we know that 3 multiplied by 10 is just equal to 30, and that was pretty simple. So knowing that that product equals 30 is something that we're going to keep in our back pocket for the moment. Let's return back to where we started, having 3 being multiplied by the sum of 8 and 2. Here's how distributing works. We take the value outside of the parentheses, in this case 3, and first we multiply it by the first term in parentheses, 3 times 8. Then our next symbol is a plus sign, so we're just going to keep that going, keep the plus sign there. And then we're going to distribute that 3 by the second item in the parentheses, in this case 3 times 2. Now continuing on, we know that 3 times 8 is just equal to 24. And we know that 3 times 2 is equal to 6. And now 24 plus 6, if we add those two values together, of course equals 30, we get the same answer. <laughs> cool. So for that simple example, keep in mind the way that we distributed the value outside of the parentheses to each item inside of the parentheses using multiplication. So before we move on to some examples, let's take a moment to visualize the distributive property. Ooh. So if for some reason we wanted to multiply a set of grapes by the sum of a heart and a seahorse, that would be equivalent to the product of the grapes and the heart plus the product of the grapes and a seahorse. So really keep in mind here that these two things are equal. Okay, we can't evaluate further here because these are just symbols but understand that the left side of the equal sign and the right side are equivalent, even though they're expressed differently. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and extend our thinking to algebra. And here's our first example. We have four being multiplied by the sum of x and three. So let's start by distributing that 4 with the first term inside the parentheses, 4 times x, which we can just write as 4x, because that's what 4x means, plus, so we're going to add our plus sign, then distribute the 4 again to the second term, the 3, 4 times 3, which we know evaluates to 12. Now, that is as far as we can go here for this example. But again, really think about and understand how these two expressions are equal. They are equivalent. They both represent the same thing. However, 4x plus 12 is in a simpler form than what we started with. Let's go ahead and look at another example. Here we have 3 times 5 minus x in parentheses. So this one's a little bit weird since it does not have a plus sign in the middle. But we should know that 5 minus x can be also expressed as 5 plus negative x. So now we can go ahead and distribute that 3. 3 times 5. The first term is just 15. And again, we're going to carry on that plus sign. So we'll just include it over on the other side. And finally, we'll distribute the 3 again. 
3 times a negative x is going to equal negative 3x. Now this is good, but it is not simplified enough on the right side of the equal sign. That plus sign is more than we need. So we can go ahead and get rid of it and change this to 15 minus 3x, since that means the same thing as 15 plus negative 3x. All right, so in our final example, we want to use the distributive property to simplify x multiplied by the difference of 3x minus 7 in parentheses. Notice that we're going to be distributing a variable here. We're going to be distributing x. And we can also think of this as a 1x, since the coefficient of a variable with nothing in front of it is always 1. Now, 1x times 3x is going to equal 3x squared, or 3x to the second power. Next, we distribute that 1x by negative 7, and that's going to equal negative 7x. So now we have simplified this to 3x squared minus 7x. Now, notice that we've skipped a few steps and kind of moved faster on that last example than we did on the ones that came before it. You can do it either way. You can show all of your steps and all of your work. That's never a bad idea. Usually it leads to good results. But if you feel comfortable, you can skip steps and go directly to your final answer. Either way, it's fine. Thanks again for joining us, guys. Hope you have a great day and uh, see ya. And that's it for that one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please click the link below and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We got a ton of animated math lessons. And I know that you've learned more than one topic in your math class and you're going to need help again. So don't forget to subscribe. We can use the support. Do it. Do it.